Morning guys. A little sprinkler going on. I'm now going to cut that background noise. So I'm about to hit first session of the day. It's a threshold session. So got a few gels, going to have 60 grams of carbohydrates and also heart rate monitor because we want to get a more accurate reading of the strap. Now, what you're going to learn in today's episode is my threshold training for today, where I'm at with current sponsors, and also I'm downloading my fitness power to start tracking and learning more about nutrition. So I'm going to bring you guys along on the journey. So if you've got basic understanding of nutrition and fueling for these events like I do, you can learn all about that with me. So let's get ready to rumble. So when I don't have time to get out to the track, which is about 20 minute drive one way, 40 minute round trip, from the new farm park here, get a great loop. So it's nice and flat. It used to actually be an old horse racing club. So. Definitely good for speed work. These are delicious. In game. Look at this part. Okay, so we're two deep. Average 353 per kilometer, so maybe in the fives for miles. Feeling good. Legs are a little bit heavy from yesterday's weight session, but perfect temperature, not too hot. This bitchman is fast. Let's get into it. 20 seconds left. That was hard. What happened there? I started with a minute rest to go. I thought it was zero. Then I looked down at my watch and it wasn't progressing. So I had to pause, just catch my breath because I've been hooking it. And this third one needed to be seven seconds faster for the kilometer. So I managed to get that out, which I'm stoked about. It's getting hot, but my legs aren't feeling heavy, which is nice. So I got 33 seconds left before three minute cool down. <laughs> So that was tough. I love those threshold sessions because you really get to put in. What I realized from that, I'm really happy with where my leg strength is at and the conditioning. It just felt really good. It was more so just the ability to turn the legs over. So I think I could probably implement some drills before my training, which would be epic. Get the legs more comfortable tick over. Aside from that, that was a wicked session. I recommend giving it a go. I'll put it here for you guys. Let's get this 3K warm down and run back home. I'm really impressed with this program. Uh, so I understand periodization and everything like that. But having someone else look over all my data and hold me accountable, I've made more progress since working with Dean on my running than I had in a long time. So feeling really proud with the effort and it's making me feel very confident going towards these marathons. Let's get home. Banana, banana, up and go. Training session done. Little pre-snack, so I just had to have a quick shower. I have to vote. Uh, in Australia here, it's our state elections, I'm pretty sure that's what we're voting for. Um, so I'll go do that. And I'm just prepping for a meeting with Function Well, the gym that I train at. I used to work at Function Well, incredible community, phenomenal facility. I'll, uh, when I go there, I'll take some footage that you guys can have a look at. I've never quite seen a gym like it. You know, it's um, just moved to a new premises. So I'm just getting ready here. New premises and in the premises, they have ice baths, saunas, private contrast suites which is you can hire it out <clears throat> for two people for the sauna and ice bath which is pretty cool they have yoga they have stretch fit which is essentially this guy i can't remember his name his last name's let but he started it in melbourne and developed this device it's like a timber framing that helps you stretch through all range of motions and i did a class years ago and now they've actually moved into the building with function well so that's a class on offer which is epic uh then they have boxing rings and all kinds of stuff anyway phenomenal facility but i just love um um, Darren and Tash who founded it, they're incredible people, have a great vision, have created something really special and it's literally got something for everyone but I know what I miss most about it now that we live in Nashville is the community. Just a level of coaching like they don't, there's, there's a, a really high standard, a lot of the coaches are you know, also training professional sporting teams or elite level athletes or you know, they're really, really an expert in their, their own field, whichever field they choose to work in. Obviously, for me, I went down the men's health, which is why the men at Cairns started, but that's where we're at. So I'm going to go vote now, quickly finish this, have a quick feed, and then prep for that meeting. So I'm going to print out the sponsorship deck. I would love to film it, but I don't think I have the balls yet to pull a camera out during, during something like that. So I'll give you a bit of a recap after. What else do I have on today? Uh, have another meeting with a few clients, which would be cool. I can probably film little bits of that. I will show you when I sign up to Trainerize. I'm also going to bring my Strava up so you can see all that data and 
I'm gonna show you how I think it's gonna help with my nutrition and what we're working towards there. And then also just, I'm gonna ask and answer some dumb questions around nutrition to, but I believe it probably you guys know I don't, uh, to make sure that I'm eating enough and where I can get those fuel sources from. So that's what's to come. Let's go vote and have these meetings. Wanna see my sponsorship deck? Here we go. It's the first time it's really gone. Woohoo! Just got back from voting. I see this huge lizard on the side of the road. Check out the size of this boy. Yeah. Massive. How cool is that? Alright, so make it some happy. Right in shake. So just quickly, I think an important thing to share that I wish people shared previously um, because I want to look back on this around how it can be helpful for other people who are wanting to do similar things. So with sponsorships, um, I learned a couple of weeks ago when I was in Arizona, like build a sponsorship deck. It's essentially what you're doing, uh, the reason behind it, how you can add value to potential sponsors. And for me, I guess I've put a guideline and I've been nervous. What if people don't like this? And I think to be transparent with people, I just say, look, this is a bit of a framework to build off. More than happy to personalize it uh, for you guys. But what I also do for every meeting, so functional and uh, specifically in this example, heading into the meeting, you know, I know what they stand for, what how their business runs, how they add value to the community. Uh, and I link up like synergies around how we can work together and collaborate. So what I've also done aside from, you know, the exposure and the usual things that you would get from sponsoring an event, I found and I've listed off other ways that I feel I can add value to their community so that I can use that as a value add as well, um, because it is important for me to partner with the right brand. So I think that's important. So if you're ever doing anything like this, don't just assume that sponsoring the event's enough. Think about how you can really work with their community as well uh, because community powers everything. Let's go. Just finished the meeting with Tash and Darren from Functional World, which is awesome. Now Amy's dropping me back to the gym and Liam and I are training, but it went really well. They were very supportive. Um, Darren still thinks the hardest thing I've ever done is the 30 rows, not the 58 running marathon so we will decide that in march i guess once i've done both of them um but it's cool to have function well on board so i'll run you around the gym now once we get this gym session out of the way i'll show you restoration zone the facilities it's a cool place all right let's get it done three sets of ten on the step ups and then we're going to hit over super set Three sets of ten on the leg press, and then upper body throw sesh after that. How'd that feel? It's quite good. Yeah, it's delish. <sighs> Pull down. Chez has got a pump on me there. That's full on Australian muscle right there. Session done, brass. Good times. Great music. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah. All right, so I gave you a bit of insight from the gym. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to probably go in early morning one day this week when it's not as busy and get some more content so you can see that, but super cool gym. Just got off a call with John, who's a member of our academy, and we were just re-looking at one of his goals that he set. So for those who don't know, I run uh, the Men at Cam Project, which is a men's performance coaching company, and our main, I guess, services a community-based academy uh, which is helping men become the best version of themselves and essentially we run around a 12-week game plan where you set a goal uh, and we work towards crushing that in 12 weeks and it's got an incredible community from uh, fathers eight figure being uh, business owners athletes you know people who are just trying to figure out what they want to do with their life all of that and it's all in there which is cool and I'll show you a bit of a stream, screen record as we're talking here, but uh, always great to catch up with them and see what they're working on. I don't really have much left for today. I'm probably going to go eat another meal. Uh, meetings have gone well, as I've said. Gym was good, so double session today. Body's feeling strong. I uh, did a podcast with Zach this morning, which was also killer. And then 
tomorrow my wife's playing a show here in brisbane so they're part of shepherd so we'll be setting up for that tomorrow but thank you guys for tuning in i don't really want to keep chewing your ear off um if you have any questions about the 58 marathons or anything like that make sure you put them below